Time now for Rant and Rave and Johnny Berry from 97.1 FM. The Drive. We're in the mornings with Danny Mack, Dan McNeil, and our good friend Irv the Gypsy, Pete <laughs> McMurray in the house. Just good Call to be him. here. Call him coach. Yeah. Came from practice, guys. Oh, man. <laughs> Wind oh, sprints. Man. Let's go. With Kevin Whiteout, yeah. coach, will the Bears group of receivers scare other teams' defenses? Who are we going to scare, man? Come on. As much as we were tired of Brandon Marshall, Brandon produced. He was Jay's go-to guy. 6'4", 230. His replacement, Eddie Royal, 5'10", 185, soaking wet. Who's going to stretch the defense? Um, Martellus Bennett, mm, maybe. Alshon Jeffrey, yes. But he's going to be double teamed, which means Jay's going to throw in the double coverage and he's going to turn over the ball again. You're assuming Barry. that. You're assuming Alshon Jeffrey's even going to be available. Who knows? I mean, the Bears, they're not going to tell us the truth about it. So who knows? I mean, right now, Eddie Royals, your one. He's a three. That's not a good situation to be in. Who knows what you're going to get from Marquise Wilson. When he came back last year, he did absolutely nothing. He was supposed to be an answer. Yeah, this is a big concern right now. But let's maintain some perspective. Again, this was a 5-11 and 11 team. I don't think there's any reason to think they're going to be much more than that. If John Fox is the greatest coach ever, maybe they win six or seven. Oh, five, Topic ten. number two, what's the Cubs' Achilles heel now, or do they have one, Barry Rosner? Well, they do have an Achilles heel, Lou. I mean, if you think about it, the, the one you'd worry about right now is maybe they're starting pitching. I mean, Dan Heron is Dan Heron. You hope to get five innings out of him. You hope he only gives up three or four runs. Um, Hendricks hasn't been great. Hamill hasn't been great. Those are things you worry about. I think they might need one more reliever as well. But look, it's a very good team. I don't think there's a lot to worry about. No team is perfect, right? We're going to win the World Series. Did you see Back to the Future 2? Hello? Uh, you're right. right. You're right. I saw that. Yeah. I saw that. It was right there in the movie. I mean, pitching is a concern, but what about youth, man? Down the stretch, aren't you worried about Kyle Schwarber, Chris Bryant? I mean, these guys are young. What's going to happen in late September when they need to win? I'm worried about youth. I'm worried about that. And don't overthink it like Jake Arrieta did Saturday night in the second inning. Don't overthink it in youth. I'm not worried about those did kids. Did the Royals right now. worry about youth last year? Yeah, no, they no, didn't. They did. But those kids had more time in the big leagues. Plenty Pete, of talk Pete this weekend. Speaking of youth, plenty of talk this weekend about Pedro Strub's celebration Friday against the Cubs. The fist pump. Uh, are you okay <laughs> with the over the top showing of emotion, or would you rather a player acted low key as if he'd already been there? What do you think, uh, Peter? Oh, why is it always the mediocre players that do this? Earn it. They need to earn it. First of all, he needs to straighten out the hat. It drives me crazy. Then throw strikes. Then re re retire some players. Then you earn it. A fist pump. That's it. All I want to see is a fist pump. I don't want to see an NFL-type dance. What's going to happen next? Yeah, that was way over the top. He reacted to something Alexei Ramirez had done, but that was ridiculous. Look, I don't mind celebrations. I think if you do something great, you should celebrate, as long as it's natural. But this was disrespectful, and I think when you become disrespectful, you cross the line. I think that's that's what Stroke did. I mean, people talk about Yasiel Puig and guys like that. I don't mind it. That's just a natural celebration. I'm okay with that. A guy having a great time, a guy expressing his feelings. But the stroke thing, you know, you cross the line once you become disrespectful like that. I thought it was did unnecessary. Did we agree on all three tonight? I think That's you did. That's a first, folks. I think it is. Don't, don't, oh, I knew he was gonna Coach, do it. I brought the whistle. Got to go honest. back to practice. I couldn't hear what you were saying after the first whistle. 5 a.m. Well, so morning. Know what you said. 5 10 a.m. 5 10 a.m. 97. All right, 5 20. The drive. Still you, to come. You're going to be late?